Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve this exercise which says find the unknown marked angle in the figure below. Okay, so the figure here is A, B, C, D and from this figure I can say that this is a trapezium because the side AB is parallel to the side DC. So in a trapezium there is one pair of sides that is parallel to each other. Okay, so in this case it's AB that's parallel to DC and therefore the four-sided figure which is ABCD is a trapezium. Okay, so ABCD is a trapezium in which AB is parallel to DC. Now if AB is parallel to DC then we know that this angle which is angle A and this angle okay which is angle ADC okay ADC maybe we call it angle D okay so this angle is angle D so then since these two sides AB and DC are parallel to each other the sum of the angles between them which is angle A and angle D is equal to 180 degrees so angle A plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees or if you want to write that in terms of the labels here then angle DAB plus angle ADC right ADC okay in the trapezium the sum of these two angles is equal to 180 degrees okay so if we can find out what D is equal to then we can find out what angle K is equal to angle K which is B D C okay so we can find out what K is equal to if we know what D is equal to and how do we know what D is equal to well if we can find out what A is equal to then we can find out what D is equal to now how do we find out what A is equal to let's see the other thing that's given to us over here is that the side A D is equal to the side AB right this bar over here this little bar over here tells us that these two sides are equal now in terms of this trapezium ABCD if these two sides are equal it doesn't matter much but if we take this triangle ABD and we see that these two sides AD and AB are equal then we can tell that this is an isosceles triangles and then it has a lot of meaning okay so if we take triangle ABD then in that triangle AD is equal to AB therefore triangle ABD is an isosceles triangle okay so triangle ABD is isosceles and we know that in an isosceles triangle the angles opposite the equal sides are equal so this angle over here that is angle ADB is opposite this side AB and this angle over here which is ABD which is opposite to this side AD these two angles are equal so angle ADB okay this little angle over here which is 46 degrees is equal to this angle ABD so ADB is equal to ABD okay this little angle over here okay let's call this X and let's call this as Y okay so actually let me color code this this is Y okay and this is X so X is equal to Y and since Y is equal to 46 degrees so is X so these two angles are equal to 46 degrees each so ADB is equal to ABD which is equal to 46 degrees all right so we have this angle which is X which is equal to 46 degrees now from all this information can we find out what A is equal to quite simple because if we take this triangle ABD then we know that the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees right we learned that in a previous lesson so angle A plus angle X plus angle Y is equal to 180 degrees now we know what X is equal to right X is equal to 46 degrees we found out just now so X is 46 Y is also 46 so then what is a well a is 180 degrees minus 46 degrees 
minus 46 degrees and that is what well 180 minus 46 is 134 and 134 minus 46 well, what's that that's 88 degrees so this is equal to 88 degrees so this angle a is equal to 88 degrees okay fine so we found out what angle a is equal to and since we said that if we know what angle a is equal to we can find out what this angle is equal to this whole thing which is a d c so from here angle a d c or angle d can be found out right so if we take this right and we substitute the value of a well a is equal to 88 degrees okay then 88 degrees plus angle d is equal to 180 degrees right because the sum of the angles between two parallel lines is 180 degrees so the lines that are parallel here are ab and dc and the angles between them are angle a and angle d so bad and adc together are equal to 180 degrees so from here we can find out what adc is equal to right so adc or angle d for short is equal to 180 degrees minus 88 degrees and that is equal to 92 degrees so angle d which is made up of 46 degrees and k right so angle d which is made up of 46 degrees that's given to us this little angle plus this little angle which is k is equal to together 92 degrees so we substitute the values here and we find out what k is equal to quite simply k is equal to 92 minus 46 so 92 minus 46 is equal to 46 and that is the value of angle k okay so this angle k over here is equal to 46 degrees and that's your answer well i hope you found this easy to solve and not confusing at all but if you did find it confusing please do go watch this video one more time okay and uh, that's it i think that's all i'm going to talk about in this lesson i hope that now you'll go and practice some exercises as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg this is m signing off for now bye bye